Welcome to Code with Kurt, the channel that brings you the latest Google Sheets and Google Apps Script videos. In today's video, we're going to talk about custom functions in Google Sheets. And Google Sheets allows you to create your own custom functions. So, in general, we have standard function like average sum and vlookup, and then you can create your own by doing some Google Apps Script and then calling that within your cells. So in this example I'm going to do this double here. So I have this code up here. I have it set in my Google Apps Script and now I have it in my Google Sheet up here where I'm doing equal double and B1. So whatever I put in B1 it's going to double it in A1. So and I got three other examples along with this first example here I got a double with the range so here I'm looking at a range that spreads like this and what it's doing is it's doubling every number and then adding them all together so right now I got 5 which would be 90 so 5 times 9 is 45 times 2 is 90 so if I add like a 6 here it's gonna figure that in so then my third example is a translation. So I'm going from English to Spanish. And here I got large, high, yes. I could change this to small. Now that's changing to that in Spanish. And my last one, I'm doing an API call. So I got this website I found where you can put your name in and it'll guess your age just dependent on your name so this is just a simple API to call using a custom function so in this example I put in these names this is the age I could change this one to Troy and now it's giving me an age of 56 so in this video, I'll go through a step-by-step -step process of how I put these four custom functions together. If you're new to this channel, subscribe to catch my latest videos. Let's get started with this video. So here I am on my new Google spreadsheet. I got it called custom functions here. I got nothing in the data here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and copy my Google Apps script code in for my four functions. So I'm going to go to tools. I'll go to script editor so I'm going to give my project a name call it custom functions hit ok next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy in my Google Apps script code so I have it copied here I'm going to hit save I will post this code below the video in the comments section so you can copy and paste this as well so now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my first function here. And again, I explained this kind of in the first video, but I'm taking the input value from whatever cell I put in there, and then I'm returning it times 2 for the double here. My next example, I'm doing a double range. So I'm putting in a range here. And when you put in a range, it turns this input as a multi-dimensional array so here I got my total is what I want to return so I got a, a parent array with child arrays inside so this is my outside of my array and this is each row of my array so if I'm doing a range here say I'm doing this range here it's considering this four four rows of arrays and each array is five long so that's where you get the, the dimensional so outside of four and then inside of five would be the example of this type of range here so that's how I, I go through it I got an outer of the Y here doing a length and then inside that I'm passing the Y in there getting the length and then cutting through and then what I'm doing here is this a simple kind of like this up here I'm taking it times two for each value and then I'm getting a total as well so I'm totaling each value times two 
and then I'm returning that value back. And that's what my double range is, as in this example. Translate is pretty, pretty basic here. I'm taking an input. I'm using this translate from Google Apps Script. I'm taking my input. I'm converting it. I'm taking it from English to Spanish, and these are the codes for that. And then I'm returning my language output for translate. And in my last example, I'm doing this API call for the input. Input is going to be a name. So I'm using, again, this. I'm actually using, using this localization. I'm using this API call. So again, my country ID is USA or US. And then I'm doing my name here. So I'm passing that value within this URL to get the age. Take this, go up here. And this is my output from this. But the only thing I'm really looking at is age here. I'm trying to get this right here. So if I go back to my script, here's my URL here. I'm passing my name in here, so the input. Here where I do the fetch, I'm calling it, I'm getting the response. It comes in as JSON format, and then from there, I'm converting it into an object of data. And that object of data is I'm getting the age, doing a data.age and returning that back to my sheet. So now how to use these. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in my first function here. So I'm going to go equal double. And I'm going to put B1. So right away it's going to have 0. Because I'm passing nothing into it. So if I do 6 here, it's going to do 12. And if I do 100, it's going to do 200. So that's just a quick example. The next one I'm going to do is the double range. So I'm going to equal double range. And here I'm going to do B1 to D, or let's do D, B3 to D5. So this range here. So if I put in 5, 5, 5, and you see how it's adding up. So that's 90. So again, 9 times 5 is 45, times 2 is 90. So basically taking this range, taking each one of these times two, and then adding them all together. So that is my double range. The next thing I'll be doing is the translate. So here I'm going to do a couple words here. I want to translate it. And all I have to do is hit translate a7. And now I get to translate into Spanish. Translation into Spanish. Again, for that one and that one. And then the last example is my API code. So I'm going to put in a couple names. I could do that API call again by doing the equal sign. So it's giving me an age here, and I can copy that down. Again, it's doing a prediction of age with this API call. So again, just a few examples of how to do, how to do these custom functions and all the different things you can do with them. I mean, it's pretty much endless. I mean, I'm just showing a very small amount of things you can do, but there's a lot of different things you could do with these. So that concludes this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it below the video. Until next time.